Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Please excuse this hair. I don't know what's going on. I have it like in a little tiny ponytail and I'm sweating so much. It's It's been so like humid in San Diego. It's not normal. Like I already hate summertime and then add humidity into the mix and I'm just like... <sighs> ah! But yeah. This video is not about the weather, it is about playing with new makeup and oh boy, I have a ton of shit right here from all over the place. So we got Sephora, we got Anastasia Beverly Hills, my first like non-brow related Anastasia Beverly Hills product, we got Colourpop, and then we got Julep right here. All of these things I purchased with my own money because I was feeling spendy in July and early August so I'm going to open these things because I haven't even opened the boxes yet and then we're going to start playing with brand new makeup. So I have a lot of things to play around with and when I say a lot I mean it. So we have the Milk Makeup Blur Liquid Foundation. I have the Clarisonic Foundation Brush, but I forgot to charge it, so I'm not gonna try it out today. Sorry, sorry, I suck, I know. We have the ColourPop No Filter Concealer right here, as well as the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer. I think I probably went a little bit too crazy with concealer. We have the Milk Makeup Lip Vinyl right here, Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette which I'm very scared to try because I've seen all the horrible reviews but oh man I just love the the color palette I love I love greens greens are my favorite color especially mint greens um what else do we have here the milk makeup holographic highlighting powder so they have the stick now they have powders as well what else do we have right here this is the milk makeup blur spray which was kind of expensive um, I really hope this is good because otherwise this was like what like 40 bucks it was ridiculously expensive for a setting spray we also have a color pop um, brush this one has no name but it looks like it could be good for highlighting and that's why I bought it because Kathleen Light said so so I was just like if she likes it then I'll like it too <laughs> What else do we have right here? More ColourPop eyeshadows, more eyeshadows, got the little free palette right here, but then I bought the the larger empty eyeshadow palette because I just want to keep all my ColourPop. Oh my god, I am so clumsy. As I was saying, I wanted to keep all my ColourPop eyeshadows in one single palette. I'm so glad I dropped the empty palette and not the eyeshadows. Then from Julep we have a detoxifying cleansing stick as well as a matte lip mousse. Oh I love these ones and I don't have this shade. This is Bisu. Ah, I really really love this. Um, this matte liquid lipstick formula. It's very similar to the Bare Minerals one actually. Like very very similar. And they're around the same price, so it's not like one's better than the other or one's a dupe. They're just very similar. Oh, and I also got a ColourPop nail polish. I think I got the holographic one just because I don't have any silver holographic. Yeah, I did. Uh, nail polish. So, yeah, that's what my little baby haul. Now, I'm going to start playing with this makeup. This is not new, but I'm still going to use it. This is the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. I just want to prime my face with anything that will blur everything. All my pores, fine lines, the fact that I spent this much money on makeup, just to make it all go away. Milk makeup just, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but they slay the packaging game because they do. Look at this. It looks so it's like a piece of plastic, but the way it's displayed, like, it just looks like it would belong in, like, a museum or something. I really like it. It's very simple, but I really like it. The shade that I purchased is Golden Light. This is my first time seeing one of these foundations. I haven't even gotten a chance to, like, see the other shades. So while I was looking online, I was like, okay, well, 
this sounds like it may work for me like I have a light skin tone with a golden undertone so golden light sounds like it would be my perfect match I really hope I really hope it is <laughs> but let's open it up so from what I heard it has a really cool packaging so you literally have to squeeze it to get like product out and yeah you have to squeeze it I'm scared I'm scared oh oh it's much more liquidy than I thought it would be but look at that I can shake it and there's nothing nothing coming out this is this is some really cool packaging really really cool packaging since I didn't get the milk makeup dab and blend applicator which basically is their version of the silly sponge I'm going to use the OG silly sponge the silly sponge the original the iconic the ugh, rip off I just I hate this applicator but I'm going to apply it the way they suggest everyone to apply it so I'm gonna use this damn sponge so from their tutorials they just kind of swipe it like dab it and then they blend am I doing this right I don't know you know what this foundation actually smells really nice it smells kind of like mango I don't know if they did use mango butter on this foundation I know they have on um, in other products oh my god I freaking hate this I hate this sponge but we're gonna keep going like the areas where it is blended it looks nice but look at this I hate this sponge so much I'm so glad I did not get the dab and blend oh my god I cannot I can't I can't I'm just gonna use my fingers now to blend it this is so much better it was just kind of looking like I was smearing mayonnaise on my face not the foundation but with the applicator it's just horrible but coverage wise this is really nice I didn't even use that much product and it's supposed to give you full coverage um, I do feel like this is a little bit heavier than the bare minerals um, bare pro foundation but it feels really nice the color match is actually pretty spot-on so they nailed it when it comes to a light foundation with a golden undertone so oh, that looks so much better so much better all right I'm gonna use something really weird I'm gonna use two different concealers because why not why not let's just go just go there <laughs> so I'm gonna use the milk makeup flex concealer on this eye and the color pop no filter concealer on this eye they're different shades but um I'll make it work I'll make it work <laughs> milk makeup flex concealer that one's gonna be the first one so it has a little doe foot applicator looks very similar to a lip gloss or the lip vinyl that I also got I'm gonna go a little bit heavier oh my god hmm see a lot more of my blemishes peeking through I'm gonna apply just a little bit on my blemishes as well I'm going to be using this brush by Real Techniques to just blend out my flex concealer first impression on this color I don't like it it looks very orange and it was supposed to be a warm undertone um, concealer but when I say warm undertone, I don't want orange. I want a yellowy concealer. It does. It looks much, much darker than even the foundation, which is very odd. I think I might have to exchange it for like a lighter shade. And you can't tell much on camera. Well, this slide looks darker. Now let's try the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This has a much flatter applicator as you can see. Oh, this is much thicker. I'm gonna use the same brush to just blend it out. Holy crap. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is so brightening. It's really nice formula. The coverage is crazy. Like look at that. You can 
what? All right, so I think I'm gonna apply just a little bit of the ColourPop concealer on this eye because, yeah, the difference is quite noticeable. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit. I think I like the $6 concealer more than the Milk Makeup one. Or maybe I just need to get the right shade in the Milk Makeup one. I don't know. I started doing my contour, but then I realized this is technically a new product. This is by Bare Minerals. It is the Contour Trio, which I talked about in my summer favorites. Very cool tone, like I like it. Blends out really easily. Apply a little bit down the nose as well. I'm going to go in with the blend shade. Just very, very slightly. Now for highlighter, I'm going to use two new products. This is the ColourPop brush. I don't know the name or the number, it doesn't have anything on the handle. And this is the Milk Makeup Holographic Highlighting Powder in Mars. Ooh. I don't know if you can see that. It is a very, very iridescent. I think it's even a little bit more iridescent than the six, which I love. I love the holographic sticks, both in Supernova and in Mars. This is insane this is so cool whoa <laughs> it's so cool now comes the part that i'm a little bit scared of and that is this palette although it looks stunning i'm sure you've seen a million and one reviews and swatch videos and i have been getting asked if i can review this so i'm gonna upload yet another anastasia beverly hill subculture palette review soon I don't know when, but I'll upload it soon, but oh, it looks so beautiful. Oh, the colors inside look so nice. They just speak to me. They really do. They speak to me. So the first shade that I'm going to apply is Dawn, which is this one, and I'm going to have a very, very light hand with this. Very light hand. Hopefully powder doesn't go all over the place. Oh yeah, people were not joking around. It is super, super powdery like I'm barely touching and um, there's powder all over the place not a good start not a good start okay this is blending out all right I mean it's just the first color but so far so good the next shade that I want to grab is new wave which is this orangey shade. Actually, this one doesn't kick up a lot of powder. This one definitely did. This one's not that powdery. Oh, wow. This is quite, quite pigmented. This color legit looks like cheddar cheese and I'm loving it. I am loving it. Now I'm going to take a little bit of Untamed. Oh, this one doesn't kick up a lot of powder either. A little bit, but n again, not as bad as Dawn. Ooh, I should have had a lighter hand with this. I'm going to grab just a little bit of Destiny to help it blend a little bit better. This one again didn't kick up as much powder. I think I'm going to take a little bit of electric and apply it on the lids now. So a lot more sheer, but you know what? It's not powdery, which is a good thing. Now I'm going to take a little bit of edge. This one is a little bit more powdery. Not that bad though. Call me crazy, but I can see this shade. Okay, I can see it a little bit more now. Fudge as an eyeliner. I kind of... It made like a little dent. So I added a little bit of a liner and mascara. These are not new. This is the NYX Faux White in Mint Cream. And then for mascara, I used the CoverGirl Total Tees. But the overall look I like. I really like. Um, I kind of wish I would have gotten and used what, some of the darker greens. I, I used Untamed a little bit, but I wanted to use Axis. But then again, I'm going to go see Rooney in a few hours, and this is already very extra for Rooney. I was going to go much more minimal to that concert. <laughs> so what I created, I liked a lot. 
it I didn't have a hard time blending any of the eyeshadows that I applied. The the orange blended out really well. The yellowy shade blended out really well. The only shade that I really did not like was Dawn. In case you didn't hear me say that multiple times, Dawn was just very, very excessively powdery. But the rest of the shades were fine. I'm going to have to play around with it a little bit more and then I'll have a review in a few days. But so far, so good. I really do love these colors though. Like I said, they speak to me and this packaging looks really, really nice. So my first time using it, my palette doesn't look banged up like other reviewers have shown. But then again, I wasn't going in with the brush. At least a light hand. I mean, I think that's common sense for eyeshadow application. So yeah, so far so good. All right, so the last thing is lip color. I'm going to be using this one by Milk Makeup. It is the Lip Vinyl in the shade Facts, which actually I don't like for this look. Maybe we should just go with the, let's see, which one will look better? Actually, they look pretty much identical. Damn it. So this, unlike the concealer, has a flat applicator. Very similar to the ColourPop concealer applicator, if I'm being completely honest. So far, so good. It feels very comfortable on the lips. It's very moisturizing. Just a little bit tacky, but not as tacky as a regular lip gloss. It's almost like a liquidified lipstick and a gloss together. Almost like a fusion between those two. But yeah, maybe I don't like it so much with what I have on. But formula feels very nice. I just hope it doesn't bleed because it is very moisturizing. I almost forgot about this. So this is the Milk Makeup Blur Spray. Oh my god, it's so small. It's so small and it was so expensive. I really hope this works. It smells nice. Seems like it did make my face a little bit more matte. Less sweaty looking. So this is the finish look for today. I really, really like it. I really like it. I even like the lip with the rest of the eyeshadow. I know I wasn't feeling it a few minutes ago, but I really the holographic stick is, I mean not the stick, the holographic highlighting powder definitely is one of my standouts in this video. It is just so iridescent, even more so than the holographic sticks that I already love. I really, really want to pair the holographic stick with the powder and see if I can get like a very like summery galactic glow. I think it would be cool, but this is definitely definitely amazing. Much smaller than I was expecting, but you get a lot of payoff. So I really loved this. I also loved the ColourPop brush to apply it. I feel like it was the right size. It applied it really well. I can apply just a little bit more because more is more. But this brush I really, really liked. The other product from ColourPop that I really loved was the concealer. <laughs> I was so blown away by this. The coverage was insane. <laughs> and I love this concealer way more than the Milk Makeup Flex concealer. But I think this one I definitely have to go a shade lighter. But this is the lightest like warm tone shade that they have. So I'm gonna have to go to the Sephora, see the other shades, and if I don't like them then this is probably going to end up being returned. But this shade, the light, is just very orangey. It's, I don't like it. It was way darker than the than the foundation, which was a no-no. Mm -mm. So I really wasn't happy with this. The foundation itself, I would not apply it with a silly sponge or anything like that. So next time I apply it, I'm going to try both my beauty blender as well as a brush so hopefully I'll like it a little bit more but it feels really nice but I still think I prefer the Bare Minerals one. It's a little bit more lightweight. The blur spray, I mean I like it but I still haven't seen if it's going to help my 
makeup wear longer. It did kind of mattify things a little bit because I was looking very sweaty. So we shall see about this, but it really was a pricey setting spray, even pricier than the Urban Decay one, and those ones are amazing. This was nice. You guys know that I love this <laughs> contour palette by Mer Bare Minerals. I can't talk. The Anastasia Subculture Palette. First impression, I really liked it. I mean, this shade was the most troublesome, but the rest blended out well. They weren't that powdery. I mean, this palette looks new still. It doesn't look all battered up like other palettes have here on YouTube. So I'm going to keep playing around with this before I film my review, but so far... I, I like it and I really like the colors so I think that's pretty much it for what I tried let me take a look on my bed was that all yeah that was all so if you tried any of these products let me know in the comments below if you want to see me do any specific um, Anastasia Beverly Hills sub subculture tutorial, let me know in the comments below. I don't know if you guys want me to play with any shades in specific, but just let me know if you want me to. I know some of you have requested looks with this palette because you don't know how to use like the teals and those darker shades, so I'm gonna play around with those, but I'm very, very excited. Very excited, I just don't want this palette to look all battered up. <laughs> So far, so good. I'm going to see Rooney in a few hours. This is definitely a lot more makeup than I would wear to a concert. Like I said, I usually don't wear a lot of makeup for concerts. I just keep it very minimal because I'm just going to go see a concert. Like, there's really nothing, like, no one I'm trying to impress. So this is a little bit extra, but you know what? From, you know, the neck down, I'm very casual. I'm wearing my... Stay home club shirt with this little girl that looks like me, surrounded by dogs, which is very me. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so awkward when it comes to recording these outros, but thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're brand new, and I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands, I just don't know what to do with them. But yeah, bye. I'm gonna go now. Bye. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video was highly requested. A lot of you wanted to see an updated hair routine, and it's honestly not that different from my other hair routine videos, but still, since you guys wanted to see it, here's the video. <laughs> so I'm still using my Turkish towel to dry my hair, get it to a damp stage, and the first product I'm gonna reach for is 